Friends and family gathered in Lawrence County tonight to remember a little boy who was killed last week. Mark Mason was stabbed to death, allegedly by his mother's boyfriend. As Pam Serrano reports, he was remembered tonight as a hero who tried to protect his little brother. Marky Mason is being called a hero. He was a child that dreamed of becoming a member of a SWAT team. He died fighting back and trying to protect those he loved. Songs of prayer filled the air at the memorial vigil for young Marky Mason, who is being called a hero. The young child was brutally stabbed to death. He fought back, trying to save himself and his little brother, who was by his side. A lot of people have asked us, have asked me, how are we getting through this? I said, look around you. Look at what we have. Look at all the support. It's been a week since the child's death. The man charged, previously convicted of murder, makes this a tragedy compounded and has devastated the community. An eight year old boy was killed for no reason at all. It was senseless. But a child that at that young age, it just really touches everyone's heart, you know, because it's, he's, it's a child, you know. No one expects to lose a child. The pain of unspeakable grief was evident by the tears and those bright balloons, some with words on the immeasurable loss, all in red, Marky's favorite color. We wanted to let the family know that we all care, that we're all here for them. Some that didn't even know the little boy were here with the family. Everyone heard the story of the child whose life was taken senselessly. They wore our little hero shirts in his honor. I'm appalled at that and I think our system is broken and I think that if if we would have a better system in place and this would not have happened and we could have saved Marky's life. I want to be half the man that Marky Matthew showed us to be that day. Candles, balloons, and these pins were handed out. They have Mark's picture in the arms of an angel. They also include a white rose for the purity and innocence of the life stolen. In Newcastle, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.